You've heard of gene therapy, but what is it? Think of your cells as factories and your organelles as workers. Genes are the managers who deliver the operating instructions. Sometimes, there might be a wrong instruction, probably caused by a faulty gene due to a mishap in the cell replication process. This is called gene mutation. This change can continually send wrong instructions and eventually lead to a shutdown of the entire factory. It is the root cause of a genetic disease. To get the factory working again, the manager, the faulty gene, needs to be fired and replaced. This is the basis of what gene therapy is. Basically, new DNA containing a functional gene to correct the effects of a disease-causing mutation is introduced into a cell to treat it. So, let's dive right into it, shall we? There are two different types of gene therapy. Somatic gene therapy, where somatic or body cells are treated, and germline gene therapy, where it's reproductive cells instead. There are different ways to go about this. The first technique is known as gene augmentation. It treats mutations that stop a gene from producing proteins. DNA containing a functional version of the gene is added into the cell to make it work, like this. The second one is called gene inhibition. This method eliminates the activity of an oncogene, a cancer-causing gene, that encourages the growth and proliferation of cancerous cells. So, by eliminating its activity, it is possible to inhibit cancer growth. How is gene therapy used, you ask? Well, it provides an alternative treatment for those with infertility. It is also used in human genetic engineering, which could in turn be used to improve physical capabilities such as metabolism and mental faculties like intelligence. However, there are some challenges faced when using gene therapy. For instance, the new gene has to reach the right cell, because if not, this alone could cause additional health problems. Also, new genes that are introduced are considered potentially harmful intruders to the immune system. Not to mention, it is also comparatively expensive to other forms of treatment. So far, gene therapy has been used to cure many diseases, like Parkinson's disease and retinitis pigmentosa, or simply put, hereditary vision loss. Many clinical trials are ongoing for treatments of other diseases. At this rate, gene therapy will eventually become a staple of 21st century medicine. Gene therapy has been a huge breakthrough for the medical field.